So joined now by Mr. Dele Aleke, who is the Director of Strategic Communication for the Bari Campaign Organization. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Let's start off with the uh, situation with the permanent photo cards. INEC has just announced an extension mm -hmm. of that card. What's your impression of the distribution process so far? I think it's not been perfect, but I think um, there's a, lo a lot of uh, efforts being made by INEC, and I, I, I think we should commend INEC for extending, for being responsive to, to the cries of the people and to the yearnings of Nigeria, Nigerians that these things should be, should be extended and uh, enough room must be uh, created for most Nigerians, most registered Nigerians to retrieve their PVCs and to be eligible to vote. Uh, because that's one of the reasons that the PDP is uh, seriously looking at as, uh, as a basis for shifting the polls. And uh, INEC has come out very pungently to say that it's ready, and I believe that INEC is ready. And this extension is a pointer to the fact that INEC is prepared to do everything it takes to ensure that the polls hold. So in this remaining week, <laughs> if we could say remaining, because they could give another extension. So for this week, uh, because we read that about 20 million uh, PVCs have not been collected. Yes. Do you think that this one week will be sufficient to distribute all of them? It could be. If not, uh, we are urging uh, most of the APC states uh, where we control the uh, government in those states to uh, give a uh, public holiday to the workers, declare work-free days so that their workers and everybody in the state can uh, retrieve their PVCs. And we're also urging the federal government to do the same nationwide if it's really serious about, uh, uh, you know, making the elections hold or having the elections uh, making it sacrosanct, the date. If it's really serious, it should declare a work-free day to, to enable us. Uh, what about it. that comment where we have heard some politicians say, look, they think that the TVC, the temporary voter card, should be used alongside the permanent one because of this challenge. You think they have a point? That should be a last resort. If uh, we are monitoring every day, I can tell you, we monitor the collection every day and we're looking at the figures. And the figures uh, haven't run away from us yet. The figures are still climbing on a daily basis. But if it comes to the crunch, if we get to the brass tacks and uh, that becomes necessary, I don't see why not. Tell us about your campaign. Uh, the your campaign party. is going on very well. It's, uh, it's actually uh, it's become a movement beyond uh, Buhari, and this is beyond our expectations, really. If you look at, uh, which is why the PDP is really very jittery and they are doing everything to avoid the elections or to stop Buhari, and they even uh, veered away from our originally issue-based campaign strategy, to, to, you know, dovetail into mudslinging and insult hauling and personal attacks and all that. These are signs of apprehension uh, and of, uh, you know, staring defeat in the face. Now, four years ago, Buhari was also a candidate. Eight years ago, he was a candidate. You didn't see this, you know, um, amount of frenzy on the part of PDP. In fact, he was written off in 2011. And he had a smaller platform. Uh, he had nothing, you know. In spite of that, he had no agents at the polling units nationwide. In spite of that, he, he was awarded 12 million votes. And um, now that he has... A, he said he was <laughs> awarded. He was awarded nine, 12 million the, votes. The same INEC awarded him those votes? Well, by the authorities. By, we don't control the authorities. But look, if a man had no single party agent at the polling booths nationwide because he couldn't afford it. But by sheer force of charisma and the love that the voters had for him, they could do nothing about 12 million votes. And I can tell you, he lost votes due to lack of voter education in some parts of the country, which is what we are addressing seriously now. In fact, that falls under my purview. And we are really addressing that in a particular section of the country. People voted, but, you know, votes were avoided. Now, imagine having a national canvas to play around with now, and enormous amount of support. Because Buhari is an embodiment of everything that this government is not. And Nigerians have come to realize and appreciate those values 
if that you, they, if that they don't see just, in this current let, let me come in here, yeah, uh, yes. uh, sir Tobotin. You, you're the director of uh, strategic communication yeah. for his campaign, and if you say this much about Buhari, why is he afraid? Of a debate, or why he's is not he afraid of running debate at all. away from a debate? He's not running away from debate. In actual fact, we also had a debate on this, you know, this, this debate issue. The fact is, if you if you cast your mind back to 2011, Buhari was there. He was ready, and the incumbent president wasn't. He was the one that ran away. So this time around, because. They have seen, the PDP machinery has seen that. No, Buhari... I think it was, but it was alone on its own segment. No, no, no. It wasn't. Which one? The, the, the NEDG or which one? The NEDG is, is not alone. All, all presidential candidates and vice presidential candidates are supposed to take part. So there's no, nobody's alone really, but it's in three segments. Anyway, this time around, because they have seen that Buhari has come on stronger nationwide, there is intelligence available to us to suspect the partisanship of the organizers, some of the organizers, not all, some members of the organizing bodies. And we have concrete intelligence you know, to prove that they are partisan. And they are not just partisan in terms of their uh, exposures. They're also partisan in terms of active collaboration with PDP in some of the anti-Buhari, uh, you know, activities that are going on, How does including that... protests. For instance, we know that a particular person who is prominent in the organizing committee of the NEDG was part and parcel of those who plan the protest for uh, uh, postponement of the elections in Abuja. And even had a meeting in Abuja, we, we have the names of all those who attended the meeting, and they, were, they came back to Lagos same day to plan the postponement protest for Lagos. And we monitored everything. And this is a very integral part of the sponsorship of this debate. It will be foolhardy for us to take part in such a debate. But if we, if we see an independently organized debate whose backers are seen or perceived to be non-partisan in any form whatsoever, Buhari will be good and ready tomorrow to go for any debate. In fact, before we started getting the intel, intelligence report, we had already simulated sessions with Buhari. He was geared and ready to go before the intelligence started streaming in. And we verified multi-level verifications. And we found out these things were true. But again, so, you know, it looks like an examination, even if some people had the privilege uh, of getting to see the questions before going into the examination hall, it still doesn't amount to anything for those that are well prepared. Well, this so, is not an examination. So we, we, felt, we, no. we felt this, it's a debate quite right. any certificate Good, yeah. Beautiful. That's that, is why, that is why Nigerians, <laughs> because I'm quite sure you're gauging the comments from Nigerians, mm -hmm. they want to see the general in a debate, irrespective of who's that's, organizing that's it. That's why we are calling. No, no, you can't say irrespective of who organizes it. No. If a partisan, a very... Uh, openly partisan, let me say, someone organizes a debate. It, it's not, it's not uh, expedient for you to attend. But and I just said, if anybody, if channels were to organize its own debate tomorrow, and we see, because we will investigate, and we'll there, see. There is one tomorrow. It, there is one tomorrow. I was going to say, as No, that are. channels is part of a group organizing it. It's not solely organized by channels. It's part of a group. We know all the members of the group. So and are you we, attending? And we have, we have the background info on all the, the members of the group. Mm -hmm. But if, if we see or we perceive that this is a non-partisan organized debate, Buhari will attend. So are you attending? All the, our members are you invited attending, will attend. Are you attending the debate tomorrow then? The one that by the ND, NEDG? No, the one by channels in partnership with other, other no, organizations. No, no, we are not. That is also suspect too. 
we, 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 are part, we, we investigated that, the one with the MPN and all that. No. In your not. opinion, a question will be, you know, which debate then? It would seem that n no one is good enough for you. Of course, there is, the, the, there is you know, there is one coming up on Wednesday, uh, which is being organized by uh, some independent, uh, uh, independent groups in this country. It's holding a terracotta, uh, terracotta or whatever it is called in VI. And our people invited, those invited in the APC are coming in and they are going to participate. And other parties too have been invited. So it's you, channels you, as a station. Sorry, Mark, but sorry to you there. It's channels as a station decides to have a presidential debate alone without those others, you say. Then we shall look at it. We shall look at it and consider it in all its ramifications. And, and the decision will be taken. And I believe. I, I believe, given my own uh, proximity to, to, to the establishment of the campaign organization, you know, I believe we will take part. But that means I cannot take a decision here for the group, so I wouldn't claim that authority. But, but we understand, I mean, uh, several publications in the papers about that debate for tomorrow is that your party had agreed in principle to participate in that debate. No, no. Some of the organizers spoke to me more than a fortnight ago on this, so and uh, I, I presented our position, regardless of whatever arguments that went in inside, that, that's our own, uh, you know, private stuff. But I gave the official, uh, you know, campaign organization position to them, and um, there were arguments back and forth, and um, some tried to explain some misgivings away, and um, those explanations weren't really uh, tenable or strong enough to convince us otherwise.